Dr. Judy Munro. You came from Atlanta, you flew up early in the morning, you had to fight the airlines, you got to northern Maine. Welcome. Thank you. Great Tell to me be something. Here. You haven't gone fishing yet. That's Not coming. yet. No, no, no I no. want to go fishing. All right, well, there it is. <laughs> right behind us. We're going to do that in a little while. You're the president of the CDC Foundation. Mm -hmm. Now, people know about the CDC. You talked about it last night at dinner. Right. What's the CDC Foundation? Yeah, CDC Foundation is a nonprofit or an independent nonprofit that Congress authorized to help CDC fulfill its mission, to expand on the mission of CDC. So we help fill gaps. Uh, we help with innovation. Uh, we help take things to scale uh, through public-private partnerships and philanthropic support. Now, are you just in Atlanta or are you elsewhere in the world? Our programs are all over the world. We actually have programs in 130 countries. 130 uh, countries? 130 countries and across the U.S. Our headquarters is uh, here in Atlanta. Uh, or, or, they're in, in Atlanta. They're in Atlanta. Yeah. And, and they, um, but our programs have a broad reach, and that's because our reach is through CDC. So, an example. Ebola is an example. We were very involved in the Ebola response. Uh, foundation uh, received actually $56 million of flexible funding from uh, philanthropic partners. We were able to do things that government could not do. And that's so, the key. So you supplement what government can't do, and you use private philanthropy and gifts to do it. That's right. Not from the taxpayer. That's right. That's tough. That's all of our funding. It's, it's private or philanthropic. How, are you a secret? Do people know about you? We are a well-kept secret, because quite frankly, um, when you look at nonprofits and the work that the nonprofits do, um, we have the science basis from CDC and we have a broad reach and we can do some remarkable work. We've got amazing stories of, of work that's been done over the 23 year history of the foundation. Ah. Uh, but we're a well kept secret in so many places. Well we're going to have to do something. Yeah we do. It. We need to let so folks know. You know of my interest in Zika and viruses yeah. and we've talked about Puerto Rico and what's going on. Give us a quick picture yeah. of Zika and what's going on now post hurricane in the Caribbean. Yeah, so Zika, we know that it's still circulating. Uh, there have been reports this year of mosquito-borne transmission of Zika. Zika is a virus that we don't know still a lot about. There's a lot of research ongoing. There's no vaccine. There's no vaccine yet. There's some promising uh, trials in place, but we don't have a vaccine yet. And what we don't know is actually the long-term effect of this virus uh, in the children that were affected uh, through birth. Are you seeing the birth, the, the, the infants who were born with the virus now, as this virus is spread, what are you seeing so far? Yeah, so CDC is actually following a whole cohort. They've got the largest uh, cohort and registry in the world of women that had, had Zika. Those infants, and now that they're developing, are being followed, and those, a substantial number of them have hearing defects, eye problems, possible seizures. There are a lot of consequences for these children, learning disabilities. Um, so they're studying. There's a whole study underway. Did, did we drop the ball early on Zika? Could we have arrested some of these cases and prevented them? So we, we can always move faster. Um, and so when we look at Zika or Ebola or any of our epidemics, getting in front of those is what's important. And that's where we've got to have the right knowledge and we've got to have the right resources. And so the short answer is, yes, we can always do better. So speaking of Zika, I'm going to swat this mosquito behind me. <laughs> and I'm delighted you're here and you're mixing it up with 50 people. And maybe we can make the world a better place together. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you for coming. You bet. You bet. Thank you.